Hey guys, it's Tegreso and today I'm going to unbox this TP-Link Archer C6 wireless router. So I have been planning to buy this router from a, quite a long time and as you can see it's AC1200, the model name is Archer C6 and this one is the version 3. I thought I would get the version 2 but uh, uh, I got the version 3, no issues over there. So it's a full gigabit MU MIMO supported router uh, with one mesh technology from TP-Link. So if you are having like a large area, you can use the one mesh devices and increase your wireless network accordingly. It's a dual band router, so 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz band both are available. So let's quickly flip this box and at the back side we have some again more information. So as you can see one mesh over here, so the entire explanation of how it goes. At the top right corner we have the MRP written, it's 4999 but you can get it like a pretty good price on Amazon and Flipkart as well. So I'll just put down uh, the Best Buy link, so you can go and purchase it from there. Then we have a quick overview of the backside of the router and the MU MIMO it is supported. So uh, if you are having like a lot of devices in your house then MU MIMO will have a greater impact as compared to the other routers. And it does support WPA3 so the version 2 does not have the WPA3 support but uh, version 3 has. But if you ask me about the design I like the, this design uh, than the version 2 because version 2 was having some glossy plastic uh, like uh, like. Um, a UFU type of design but this one is it looks more classy and the adder replacement is way more better. The top we have the AC1200 mesh Wi-Fi router RJC6 nothing else. So let's quickly open this box uh, take the router out set up with my internet connection and let's quickly do a speed test as well. So let's quickly open this. Uh, so I'll just simply tear this off. And Best Buy link will be in the description so you can go and purchase it from there as well. So let's see this packaging and you will get the bill inside this particular. And this is the actual packaging that I received from Flipkart and I bought this from Flipkart. Uh, so no um, any other box over this box. So the this was only the packaging. So let's quickly open this box. Here we have our router, nothing else inside the box. The packaging is pretty good, uh, it is made up of tough corrugated uh, cardboard. Okay, so this is our router as you can see. So let's keep it aside for a time being. Else, we get the general like uh, some licensing, some quick installation guide. Uh, Cat 5e cable, I guess. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a Cat 5e cable for uh, setting up the router, and we do get a power adapter. For powering this device so I'll just keep it aside nothing else inside the box that's it so let's quickly take a look at the router itself this is the router so let's quickly take it out from the packaging so yeah this is how the router looks and packaging is very good and as you can see the quality of router is really very good I this this is why I like uh, like the version 3 not very glossy uh, simple and minimal look so let me just uh, yeah so this is how it looks uh, at the front side we have few indications over here so we have five indicator light power uh, 2.4 5 gigahertz lan and wan connection port at the bottom side we have few information about the router and at the back side we have few ports like uh, five ethernet port one is incoming wan port and four are outgoing lan ports and all of the five ports supports gigabit network so that's pretty nice thing uh, that is an additional uh, important feature of this router then we have the power socket power on off button and uh, at the corner here we have the wi-fi on off switch and it also serves as a wps switch as well and we have a small reset hole over there so let's quickly power this router on and let's try to uh, set it up with my existing internet connection so as you can okay see, so guys I have connected the router to a power source as you can see and I turned on the router so the router booted and as you can see we have the three LEDs uh, glowing so power 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz and rest two are turned off which will be turned on in the meantime and uh, we are going to set up this router using our smartphone so we are going to use this Tether app from TP-Link uh, from which we can directly set up our router. You can also use the legacy method of like connecting it to a LAN port. Uh, you can do that as well. But we are today in this video we are going to use this Tether app, which is uh, by the way a more easier and reliable way. So simply download that 
app and connect to any one of the network uh, for this uh, router so as you can see uh, 5g and uh, again one network will be there which will do to send a 2.4 gigahertz band so connect to any one of these network uh, you can get the password at the back side of this router and you're good to go so once you are connected to any one of the network simply open the tether app and the app will automatically uh, detect uh, the router uh, so simply wait for a couple of seconds as you can see arcur c6 so let it log into the router for configuration okay so password uh, i'll create a new one Okay, so now it says select the connection type. So mine is dynamic IP, but you can if you don't know yours, you can use it auto detect feature. So I'll simply connect uh, the LAN cable which is uh, coming from my fiber modem. So I'll simply connect it uh, into the WAN port of the router. And uh, as you can see, we have orange light over here. So once the light turns green, uh, the inter internet connectivity is coming to this router then. So we'll use this auto detect feature to try it once. As you can see detected connection dynamic IP so simply click on next uh, do not change the MAC address okay uh, okay so now it has a feature of smart connect so what it will do it will simply merge both the networks like 2.4 and 5 gigahertz both the networks will be merged together only one network will be seen and whenever your device is within the range of 5 gigahertz it will connect to that band and if it goes out of 5 then it will connect to the 2.4 gigahertz so that's basically the smart switch but i am not going to use it i am going to use both the networks separately so i'll use the default settings okay next this one is the 5 gigahertz settings so you can change the name and password of your network right from here click on next as you can see these are all the settings so simply click on apply and wait for a couple of seconds and you are good to go as you can see it turned green so the connectivity has established simply wait for a couple of seconds and after once it is done we will simply do a speed test to like uh, see what are the differences in the speed okay congratulations so we have successfully set up our uh, router so let's quick click click on finish and uh, yeah so let's tap on status okay so as you can see it says connected so we are connected to the internet and rest everything are the ips and dns okay and uh, the app is like full of different types of features as you can see we can see clients over here we have dozens of features over here so we can simply toggle all those settings right from here so that's pretty good thing you do not need to like jump uh, every time into the utility on your web browser or the laptop in order to set up all those things you can simply like control the entire router from your mobile phone so that's pretty good thing so now let's quickly uh, do a speed test without wasting any more time so i downloaded and my broadband plan is of 100 mbps so and the all and this router has a gigabit switch uh, inside it so um, and this wire is also connected to a gigabit port on my router so let's try to do a speed test okay so as you can see it did cross like 100 mbps so that's the difference uh, in the speed test and we are connected to the 5 gigahertz band so that's why this amount of speed is getting 2.4 will obviously have a much less speed as compared to this uh, these speeds because it travels uh, uh, like more distance than 5 gigahertz so this is the speed test with 5 gigahertz so let's try to connect with 2.4 as well okay so i'm connected to 2.4 gigahertz so again let's try to do a speed test okay so as you can see the speed immediately dropped although it can pull up 100 mbps but the 2.4 gigahertz is not capable of like delivering more than 50 mbps speeds or might be 60 mbps in some of the cases so that's the difference between both of the bands on a dual band router well obviously the 5 gigahertz will uh, have more throughput but the distance or the coverage is not as good as 2.4 gigahertz whereas 2.4 gigahertz can cover a long distance or larger area 
but is not capable of delivering speeds like 5 gigahertz so these are the advantages and disadvantages of both the bands so yeah guys this was the speed test for this router uh, so yeah this is pretty much it for this video guys if you found this video really helpful then do that like button and subscribe button and stay tuned for more such videos so yeah thank you guys thanks for watching